Hi YouTubers, it's George. I'm not in the garage today, I'm in the kitchen and um, it's raining at the moment and um, I've come up with an idea I don't know whether it's possible um, so this is like a ham radio challenge for all you ham radio people out there who may have 3D printing capability and it involves the ATU100 and also the um, QRP SDR transceiver but before I get on with that um, I'm just going to take the top off this ATU100 because I've heard people say that the build quality is not very good um, I have took the screws out and taken the lid off it's very very compact in here um, I've looked at the the way it's put together uh, it could do with the standoffs being drilled through the case you know rather than have the case plain um, but my main concern would have been the inductors here and the reason why I say that is because on some of them they're not glued they're just dangling about and that's not good for my portable operation I want it to be quite rugged uh, the soldering on the main RF connectors looks good and on the earth connectors soldered there and the bolts are tight and the screws are tight uh, the connectors here have got dollop of some sort of a rubber silicon on to stop them moving and um, yeah the, the board how it's held in could have been better but that's about it it looks pretty good and I've tested it and it works okay so I'm quite pleased with that but the challenge is um, I think it's probably possible for both this radio and the ATU to be in one case wouldn't it be a great to have a, a very small compact transceiver reasonably low cost with an automatic tuner unit now when you put that on top of that like that so they're standing on one another the, the case lengths is the same so the challenge is can these be made into one without too much modification so my idea is that if you've got a 3d printer you could print a new end that goes either over the top of the original one or replaces this and this so you you the end plate does both this the ATU and the radio so if it's one sort of 3d printed end or circuit board and then the original screws could hold it together the same with the back because they're exactly the same length so the backs could be replaced with 3d printed piece of plastic or circuit board or whatever so it's just got one antenna you don't need three like here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a a, a jumper like this so the RF in but it could it could have a 3d printed end and two right angle 259s you know so they're across like that rather than a jumper but so it's one unit so I thought just an idea for me I've got a 3d printer but th those guys who are out there have then they could make both ends or an adapter but I thought for me I could do it a different way and I thought I could just have a piece of plastic smaller than that which goes on let's turn it around into the light shall we so it could be a small piece of plastic that could go across the screws and longer screws fitted like that or one like that 
to just hold the units together so it's like a one unit and it's the same with the back it could have a piece of plastic like this that goes across that holds them together so you're not carrying like two separate units well it's still two separate units but they're actually fixed together but with two new ends made and I've got um, plastic feet on here so it doesn't have to have those it could be a tighter gap there and these two could be bolted together so that's the challenge any of you guys who've got these radios and got 3d capability can you make an end for them yeah interesting so that's a challenge anybody who's got one of these um, or both of these units have they thought about combining them in one case it should be possible it should be possible yeah. and the back should be possible you just got a couple of connectors and a few holes so I think these could be combined with a little ingenuity so that's a challenge so if anybody out there has got any thoughts on this drop me a line or forward a copy of this e, uh, sorry this video to the manufacturers of these see if they can make one unit you can make a really really neat QRP SDR transceiver with an automatic tuner unit battery powered so thanks for watching please subscribe and like